What's going on everybody? Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch today. We have the first release of 2023 that I've gotten. It's the Larceny Barrel Proof A123. All right, so you guys know the drill at this point. You just wanna know how it smells, how it tastes, and if you should go buy it. So let's just get right into it. The A123 coming in 125.8 proof. That's good. They're stepping their game up. It's, they're ramping it up a little bit. Now these batches, I've been getting pretty excited for them. Last year, the Larceny batches were very solid. I think last year was definitely needed you know, coming off the heels of some of those absolutely terrible Larceny Barrel Proof batches. They turned things around last year. Uh, the C922 was one batch I didn't get, which kind of blows my mind, but go figure, it turned out to be a lot of people's favorite batch so far. Some top whiskey of the year list, so really good stuff. It makes me excited to see what they're bringing to the table uh, for 2023, so just get right into it. On the nose, wow, that is very, very sweet. I had maybe a false notion of going into this and expecting some sort of Heaven Hill super nuttiness. Off the first sniff, not really getting that. It is incredibly vanilla and caramel centered. Almost even a red fruit characteristic too. Not a whole lot of that nutty characteristic that you're used to getting. It's definitely there. It's just, there's a very, very sweet character up front. Let me just go into taste. We'll go back through it. Uh, once the shock, the new shock value wears off. Now there's a little more of the nuttiness. A lot of almost oaky, burnt toasted oak. Wow, oh, shoot, it's my first pour of the day. I'm feeling it, woo! I normally warm up before I do stuff like this, but this is great. <laughs> this is doing it good. The flavor profile on this is, is weird for a weeder to me in the sense of you could probably mistake this for not being a weeder in a blind or something, even if you just poured it and you didn't know that, you might not think that. There is a little bit of softness in there, kind of like a, a baking bread, a dough, but it's maybe the proof is enough to make you think that it's got some, you know, baking spice, rye spice going on when it doesn't. So, tricks ya, but that's fine. If it tastes good, it doesn't even matter. Man, that is nice. That is a lot of sweet, but a lot of that classic Heaven Hill, nutty, oaky. It's crazy to me how much of that um, barrel influence that you're actually getting on this, but it's still balanced with the other sweetness. You know, up front is the sweet, uh, a lot of vanilla, a little toffee going on, and then as it goes to the back of the palate is where I'm starting to pick up more of the oak, a little bit of burnt, a little bit of toasting. It's honestly fan friggin tastic revisiting the nose after tasting it i'm getting a little more you know to me larceny kind of has a cracker jack type of thing but still a little bit of cherry maybe red fruit sweetness it's nice it's giving you kind of everything that you want best of both worlds and again going to the palate almost i wouldn't say bitter but there is a little bit of drying tannic thing from the oak maybe on the back of the palate but still, it's giving you both. I'm getting sweetness up front. I'm getting all of that dark, charry goodness in the back. This is great. I, I don't know what else to tell you. I think this is another good batch. Again, don't know, um, compared to the C922, 
you know, don't know how good it is compared to that. Because again, that was a lot of people's best batch of the year or even just one of their favorite bottles of the year. Uh, but I think this is a great step in whatever direction they're going. They need to keep going down it. It's a, it's a great batch. It's a great start to 2023, that's for sure. So um, I'm going to give this a definite recommend. I'm going to let this open up, continue to see how it evolves. But right now, I think it's really balanced with both the sweet and the oak and all the in-between stuff. I think this is giving you, you know, a total package. I think the proof's good. Drink's hot. Um, not too hot, though. It's just enough. It's right there to let you know, but still enjoy it. The fact that it is a weed or two kind of probably tones that down a little bit. So there we have it. It's my thoughts. I think this is a total buy, especially if you've liked last year's batches. I think this is a good segue into 2023 for $60 or whatever these retail for. Totally worth it. I think it's worth checking out. I think this is going to be another great batch. Hopefully this is a great start into the trend for 2023 hopefully they continue to release hitter after hitter so let me know in the comments if you have this bottle what you think of it especially if you have c922 let me know how you think it compares to that one because again i don't know remember to hit the like button go leave any sort of comment it really does help out it's a sacrifice to the youtube algorithm god so just go make the sacrifice and until next time i'm trev olson i will see you guys in the next video